Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Stewart here and here back on Nintendo 11. And today we're going to be doing a bunch of upgrades as we have 30 million of each on the base since the season pass has ended. So we get 25 million of each and 250,000 Dark Elixir. So we have a ton of loot to get spending in today's video. So we'll start off today's video by heading over to the progress base and do a couple of these upgrades spanning all of the loot we have on the base at the moment. Before we actually do a bunch of our upgrades, we have to get the next gold pass. I went ahead and got a bunch of the challenges done to get 160 points exactly to be able to get the 10% builder boost, but we need to get the gold pass to be able to get that builder boost. So let's get the gold pass here and unlock those rewards. And there we go, we got the gold pass now, so we can collect the rewards we got from the beginning portion of this uh, season pass. And now we can upgrade a bunch of this stuff on the base, starting with something inside of the laboratory. And I'm not too sure what we want to upgrade since we have a ton of stuff to upgrade. I think we might actually upgrade the giants up to level 8, since we are going to be using those in one or two attacks for today's video. At 5.4 million elixir in an 8 day time. We'll get that going down there up to max level for title 11 i'm pretty sure if not we'll upgrade it again now we have 30 million gold on the base and none of these upgrades cost enough to actually spend all of that gold so we're going to head up to our walls here and upgrade a bunch of these since they are only 1.8 million per wall so we're going to upgrade a bunch of these up to the max level and i'm not too sure what other upgrades we are going to be doing i have a list on my screen right now that i will actually check out and the only upgrade for gold is using 1.5 million so all we really need to use or save for the last upgrade for gold is 1.5 million so we can upgrade a bunch of these walls up to max level that's usually what we want to use the uh, season bank or what i usually use the season bank on is a bunch of gold on the walls and one more upgrade there and there we go that should be enough to upgrade one more thing using the gold and i'm not sure how many walls we upgraded i think we started off with this third wall in this next row but i'm not too sure probably around 15 walls which is a pretty decent amount of walls to upgrade here let's head over to the elixir storage which is the final gold upgrade for the day up to level 12 for 1.35 million gold in a two and a half day time for this upgrade here second elixir storage up to its max level so move that over to the max side of the base and the rest of the upgrades will be dark elixir and elixir starting off the elixir upgrades with this third barrack up to max level at level 13 for 3.6 million gold in a five day time getting that going down there we have one more regular barrack we will upgrade once this one finishes in around five days so that will be completed in about five days and we can work on the other barracks and stuff so three builders and the last two i want to use on two of the heroes so we only only have 20 million still left on the base and the other upgrade will be this gold storage we're gonna head back up to the walls and upgrade even more of these elixir uh, walls here using a ton of our elixir i think we only need around 1.35 million once again so we're just gonna use a ton of our elixir upgrading a bunch of our walls and we'll upgrade one more and then we'll head down to the bottom of the base and upgrade the third the second uh, gold storage up to max level for 1.35 million gold or elixir and around a two and a half day time for this upgrade here moving this one up to the max side and i also forgot to move the barrack up to the max side so now all we really have left for upgrades is on the heroes here and i actually forgot that we have the warden still to upgrade but we have some uh, raids that we're going to be doing in today's video so we're going to be upgrading the warden up to level 8 but we're going to be upgrading the queen up to level 44 for the uh, fourth upgrade of the day at 120,000 dark elixir another five days for here we'll upgrade that one more builder still left and we're going to be upgrading the warden up to the next level i don't think we have any more loot around the base we have some elixir inside of here I'm going to save that dark elixir for later since we have 141,000 on the base actually 147 now that we collected that dark elixir from the drills but we have an army training which is the queen charge go wee wee and actually should change out the healer since we just upgraded the queen so i'll do that real quick but we're using the gui for the one or two attacks for today's video so let's head out for the attacks and we found this town hall 11 here with 800,000 gold and elixir and 9,000 dark elixir we're gonna start off by dropping a couple of archers on that corner builder at the very top i guess and we have loot around every single one of the collectors so we're going to drop a couple 
of giants and then a one wizard behind to basically take down these uh, collector buildings over here and continuing to drop them until those buildings go down. A couple more on the uh, top left here, one more over here as well. Basically sniping out the outside uh, collectors and then we can head in towards the base which I want to go from the bottom right since the dark elixir storage is on that side. We have a drill over here on the left and we're not going to worry about that other collector on the left here. We'll drop a couple more wizards over here, one more there. And it is uh, taking down those giants pretty quickly here, but we are still taking down most of these collectors. We are running out of wizards, so we're going to have to continue on by just uh, spamming in the giants towards the very bottom of the base. We got most of the collectors down, but now we're going to head in towards the bottom, dropping the giants, the king and the warden with the log launcher to head into the core of the base. The log launcher should break through, but we're going to wall break in on both sides. I have a balloon that I have for the Queen Charge. Uh, Gui, we are just going to use the Gui that you see here. Uh, we're going to drop the heal on, and a raid spell on the left side with a jump spell to jump these guys into the other portion of the base. Going to freeze the Warden and that Expo. Clan Castle is going to drop here, bringing out a Yeti and a bunch of Giants to take down uh, more of the base here. We'll drop the Nether Freeze to keep up the King a little bit longer. We have the Warden, which I will use his ability here, and would let the uh, the Yeti take down a bunch more of those loot buildings. We'll get the 50%, and I also forgot to use the Heal spell that we will actually just uh, we'll, we'll use on the right side just because and we'll end off the raid at a 56% 2-star, uh, two which is pretty good. Getting most of the loot, all the Dark Elixir, and let's head on to one more attack before ending off the day. And the second raid of the day here is this Dead Town Hall 12 with 10,000 Dark Elixir. Most of the loot is probably towards the Collector since it is a Dead Town Hall 11 since the Eagle and Expos and stuff are all down. So we're going to drop a bunch of the Giants once again. We're also going to try to take down the Town Hall. So we're going to go from the top left of the base with the main push into the core of the base, which up a couple more giants towards the bottom, some more towards the uh, top right of the base, and we have some more that we're going to drop towards the top one, actually towards the top, take down that collector, and a bunch more over at the very top of the base to take down these collectors, getting most of the loot. I think we got every single collector around the base. We have the Dark Elixir storage down at the bottom here, which I think I will probably get. Uh, we can actually take down these collectors here real quick and then we'll head over with the actual push into the base towards the bottom right to take down the drill or the uh, the storage and the town hall hopefully dropping the giants the king the warden uh, the last two wizards on the left side we're going to wall break in just dropping everything to head in towards the base we're going to heal immediately here and we're going to probably jump, but I guess the wall wrecker or the uh, the log launcher will break through everything into the base. We're going to poison and freeze the queen to allow for the log launcher to get the last couple of shots onto the town hall and those walls. We're going to heal and rage these guys through this portion of the base and also freezing the town hall and using the warn ability once the town hall goes down. We have another Wraith spell, but we are going to use the Warren ability, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we use the Warren ability now, jumping everything in and raging through that side of the base. I don't think we are going to get the Town Hall now because nothing is really attacking it. It is going around it. We have a bunch of these Giants heading in, which will get obliterated by the Tesla from the Town Hall. So we're just going to get a one star on this one, but getting most of the loot. We'll end off that raid there. We have enough elixir to upgrade the warden up to the next level. We'll head back here and getting a uh, star bonus there as well. Very good. We'll uh, collect that actually. And then we'll upgrade the warden up to level 8 for 4 million elixir and a 2.5 day time for this final upgrade of the day. And we're actually going to use 5 of the bullet potions I had saved up. I'm not sure how I got these. But we have them on the base, so why don't we just use them there? Getting 50 hours taken off of every single building we upgraded in today's video. And since we have everything working on the base, upgrading a bunch of the walls for today, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did want to see some more Tunnel 11 or any Clash of Clans content on my channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.